So today we're going to look at solving quadratic equations. So a quadratic equation can be solved in lots of different ways. We can factorise, we can use a quadratic formula, and a quadratic equation is something with an x squared, and it may also have an x uh, and another number as well, but the x squared is the important bit. That makes it a quadratic when that's its highest power. So in order to solve this, we're going to use a quadratic formula, and that is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that quadratic formula, a comes from whatever number is in front of x squared, b comes from whatever number is in front of x, and c is the constant term on its own, and it must equal zero, okay, in order to do it. If it doesn't equal zero, then you need to just move everything onto the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the equation, so everything's on the same side. So in this case, a equals 2, b equals 13, and c equals 7, and they're all positive, so they're all positive. I'm then just going to put that in my formula, so minus 13 plus or minus the square root of 13 squared minus 4 times 2 times 7, all over 2 times 2. Putting that in my calculator, I'm just going to use the fraction button first, and then type minus 13 plus, I'm just going to use that plus the first time, and then the square root of 13 squared minus 4 times 2 times 7, all over 2 times 2, and that gives me minus 0 0.59246, and there's a few more uh, numbers, but I'm just going to write that, because we need to give our solution correct to two decimal places. So there's the first decimal place, there's the second decimal place, check the next number, and it rounds down. So minus 0 0.59 is my first solution. And my second solution, I'm just going to go back, and instead of using the plus, I'm going to use the minus. So don't change what's in your calculator. Just use that left arrow, or the right arrow, it's quicker actually. Delete the plus, change it to a takeaway, and then we've got minus 5.90753, blah, 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 blah. And one decimal place, two decimal places, chop, check, and actually that seven rounds up. So we've got minus 5.91 one as our other solution. Now what that actually means is that with a quadratic you've got two places where it's cutting the x-axis, well up to two, and one of them is minus 0 0.59 and one of them is minus 5.91. So that quadratic is coming down and going back up like that. And out of interest the y-intercept here is seven because of that number on the end there, because of the c. Cool, so that's it done. We've worked out the solutions or the roots of the quadratic using the quadratic formula. So let's just try one more. Let's solve 3x squared minus 11x minus 13 equals zero, giving our solutions to correct to three significant figures. So again, we've got the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this case, a is three, because it's the number in front of x squared. b is minus 11 and c is minus 13. Great, so I'm doing minus b. Now, because b is negative, you can either write minus minus 11, or you can just forget the minuses altogether because we know that when we're subtracting a negative, it's positive. So you could just write 11 if you wanted. Plus or minus the square root of. Now, minus 11 squared is the same as 11 squared. And if you're typing this in your calculator, you need to put it in brackets, or again, you can just type 11 squared if you want. Okay, because when you put a minus 11 squared in your calculator without the brackets, it does the squaring bit first and then it makes it minus, so it goes wrong. So make sure you put it in brackets. Minus 4 times 3 times minus 13 all over 2 times 3. Type in that in my calculator. I've got a fraction button first. 11 plus, I'm going to use first, the square root of minus 11 squared or just 11 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus uh, 13, all over 2 times 3. And that is 4.6072. So for three significant figures, we start counting from the beginning of the number. 1, 2, 3, chop, check the next number, it rounds up. So 4.61 is my first solution. And then just use your arrow on your calculator, go back, change it to a minus, and that is going to be minus 0 0.94055. Now your first significant figure can't be a zero, so we're actually going to start counting here. One, two, three. Zeros count when you've already started counting. Check the next number, it's a five, so it rounds up. So minus 0 
for 1. And those are my two solutions. So when x is 4.61, that quadratic will equal 0. And when x is minus 0 0.941, that quadratic will equal 0, which means we know that it's the two places where it comes down, crosses the x-axis and goes back up. And out of interest, the y-intercept there is minus 13 because of that number there. I hope that's helped. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe and watch any of my other videos. That would be great.